moving very quietly. I guess y'all can't hear it. Yeah, it's, it's coming out very quietly. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I wish I could show y'all that shit that I just did. It was loud, but it's mad big. Like, I've been holding on to that for days. <laughs> it's so nasty. <laughs> Listen, ladies. What would be the thing that you would see in your stools to think, oh my god, this is a problem, I really need to see the doctor. So, you know, my patients are always asking me, I, can I show you a picture of my poop, Dr. Cole? Because I feel like it's not normal. Or they say things like, well, my poop used to be a certain way and now it's different. Is that normal? Or my poop used to be brown and now it's green. And the other day, I feel like it was purple. Is that normal? Does it mean that there's something wrong with my gut? I'm the poop doctor. I'm a gastroenterologist. That's my job. Actually, you can tell your kids that's Dr. O, the poop doctor. Let's talk about poop. It's a whole science of stool. Let's get into it. What is your poop really telling you about the health of your gut? So to the gastroenterologists, there are sets in stool forms or colors that give us raised alarm. So let's just get that out of the way. Number one, blood. If you see blood in your stool, we consider that an alarm symptom, and it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something horribly wrong with you. It just means that you should probably be talking to your physician about that. Number two, stools that are black like tar. Remember tar, what we use to surface our roads? If your stool is black and tarry, that might also mean that there is some blood coming up from the top of your GI tract, like your stomach or your small intestine. And so those two things are the things that are alarming to gastroenterologists everywhere. For the rest of it, let's talk about it. So let's start with the color of your stool. As long as your stool is not red or black and tarry, it's not usually a big problem. It's usually a signal of something that you ate. And so let me give some examples. Yesterday I ate a whole bag of spinach with some kale. And this morning I go to the bathroom, my stool is gonna look green. The next day I had a huge bag of beets. My stool is gonna look purple. Or I drank or ate a lot of orange jello. My stool is gonna look green orange. So the color of your stool, if it's not red or black and tarry, usually takes on the color of something that you ate in bulk. So let's not get alarmed if your stool isn't the perfect brown. It could just mean that you ate a lot of something that's highly pigmented and affected the color of your stool. All right, so let's say that again. If your stool isn't red or black and tarry, it probably means that you ate something that had a lot of pigment and colored your stool. So it's no problem. So that's as far as stool color. Now let's talk about the consistency of your stool. What does consistency mean? Consistency means texture, right? So there is the perfect stool. My brother calls it a onesie. What does a onesie mean? It means stool that's nice and long and thick and probably shaped like an S. Why is it shaped like an S, Dr. Okoro? Have you ever taken a look at the picture of the intestines? They kind of go in a wavy form. Have you ever driven up the coast of California? It goes in a wavy form. Or up a mountain, it goes in a wavy form. So when you eat something, let's talk about how it travels. It goes from your mouth, it goes into your esophagus, it goes into your stomach, it goes into your small intestine, and then it goes into your colon. Small intestines and colons are kind of wavy. What does the colon do? The colon is also the large intestine. It's where the waste goes to get reshaped and come out. So, if your stool is healthy, your stool will usually have a formed solid shape that's wavy. 
There is a stool chart actually that you can look at. It's called the Bristol stool scale. And typically number one and two are like chumpy little stools, look like pebbles. Number three and four are usually the healthy stool type, either that, you know, wavy S shape or something that has, you know, some little patterning on it. And then number five and six are usually more daryl, meaning that your gut is moving too fast. And so we usually want Bristol skills number three and number four. And you're right, Bristol skill is from Bristol. Bristol is a town in the United Kingdom. And apparently there was a study done many years ago and 70% of the people who live in Bristol, guess what number they have? Number four. So consistency of stool. You want your consistency to be long, thick, kind of wavy. All right, Dr. Cora, well, my stool is not that way. What's the problem? Are you constipated? Well, Dr. Cora, but I poop every day. How can I be constipated? In fact, I poop up to two or three times a day and I poop every day. Well, listen, I have news for you. Sometimes the reason why you're going to the bathroom that often is because you go and not everything comes out. And so you have that sensation of, I have to go back, I have to go back. And every time you go, you sit there and you push, little pebbles come out. That's Bristol's till one or two. You are constipated. And so consistency, again, is what we're talking about. If you have a consistency of Bristol scale one or two, you're probably constipated. And in a little bit, we'll talk about why that is. But for now, we're talking about what does the consistency of my stool say about me? If your stool is little pebble forms and you go multiple times, but each time you go, you don't feel like everything comes out, it's probably because you're constipated. So, stool can be thick and wavy or it can be little brocks or pebbles. What's the third variety? Well, you can have liquid stools. Wow, what would that mean? So. Daria, right? If you're going too many times, what does that tell you about your gut? It means that your colon doesn't have enough time to absorb the water from the stool to make it nice and thick and in an S shaped. Why would that be happening? There are many things that can cause diarrhea. The commonest things are infection, inflammation, or an intolerance to something that you ate. What does intolerance mean? It just means your body didn't like it. You had something fried, you had something too processed, you had something with too much of something that your body doesn't like. You know what your body says? Oh, no, 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 we're not doing that today. And then it tries to get it out of you in rapid fashion. And so it gets to your colon, your colon's like, get out of here, get out of here. And so it doesn't have time to absorb all that water, and that's why you have diarrhea. So let's keep it simple. Consistency of stool, three different ones. Number one, little rocks and pebbles. I'm constipated, not a good look. Number two, nice and wavy. We're winning, Bristol stool three or four. Number four, diarrhea. You probably ate something that your body doesn't like, or an infection, or there's some inflammation going on there. So that's number two, stool consistency. Now let's talk about other things about stool that don't have to do with color or don't have to do with consistency. What's the third thing? Well, blood. Why would you have blood in your stool? Well, we now know that colon cancer incidence is rising. But honestly, and this is just something to help you with not feeling too anxious. Most of the people I see with blood in the stool do not have colon cancer. Again, remember what I said? If you have blood in your stool, you need to go to your doctor. But most people with blood in the stool, it will not be colon cancer. Commonest cause of blood in stool is hemorrhoids. What are hemorrhoids? Okay, so big news. Everybody has hemorrhoids. As long as you're born and you're human and you work the earth, you have hemorrhoids. What are hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are just veins in your rectum. You see my hand? There's these green things lying in my hands. Those are veins. You have them everywhere. You also have them in your rectum. 
What do hemorrhoids have to do with seeing blood in your stool? So let me give you an example. You're sitting on the commode and you're having to push stool out. What happens with the hemorrhoids? They bulge. And then after a while, they burst and boom, that's that blood you see. Typically, bleeding from hemorrhoids can present in a number of ways. You finish stooling and you wipe, there's blood on the tissue, likely hemorrhoids. Or you finish having a bowel movement and you see dripping into the toilet bowl, likely a hemorrhoid. And sometimes the blood is mixed in stool as well. But remember, you have to see your doctor if you're having blood in your stool because that's usually not healthy and needs to be investigated just to make sure that it's not a malignancy. So let's summarize. What's your gut? What's your stool? What's your stool telling you? So let's take some examples. Example number one. Do you have those little rock-like pebbles? You go multiple times to the bathroom and you just feel like not everything comes out. You're probably constipated. And then you have one day where you have blood in the tissue or blood dripping into the toilet bowl. What's probably happening is that you're constipated and you burst a hemorrhoid. But remember, every time you see blood in your stool, anytime you see blood in the stool, you need to let your doctor know. Number two, consistency of stool. What is it telling me? If my stools are pebble-like, probably constipation. If your stool is nice and S-shaped, that's a win. Bristol scale three or four. If you're having diarrhea, it means that there's something that's in your gut that your body doesn't like. Is it an infection? Is there some inflammation somewhere? Or is it, did you eat something that your body is intolerant to? And then finally, about bleeding. If the bleeding is from the lower GI tract, which means that maybe you popped a hemorrhoid, then it would be bright red. If it's from your upper GI tract, maybe your stomach or your small intestine, it's tracking down all the way to your colon and to your rectum. By the time it gets all the way there, it undergoes a process we call oxidation. It changes its color, it changes its consistency. That's when you have the black and tarry stool. And then just finally, you know, you could also have a healthy gut and not have that S-shaped stool. Certain medications can do that. A lot of people are on a diabetic medication called metformin. It can do that as well. So if there is some confusion about what your stool is telling you, you can do a couple of things. You can shoot me a message. If there's blood in your stool, you should talk to your doctor. And if you're on a medication like metformin and you used to have that S-shaped stool, and now it's not so much S-shaped, it's more of maybe a Bristol skill five or six, it's probably your medication. And so thank you for listening. Shoot me a message if you have questions and be well.